Jim Squared is next, followed by Bob Combs, followed by Gene Keller. I'm taking it that your name comes because we've got Jim and Jim. That's right. Two of us. <laughs> There's two of us, but we're better mathematically. We're better geometrically. Oh, okay. That when I perform, I'm pretty good. When my dad performs, he's pretty good. When we perform together, Look we are exponentially better. Uh, uh, I like it. and two, one of my favorites called Sitting on Top of the World. And now she's gone. started a traveling show, but he was brought home both times by his father, who got him his first job at the railway, where he was further taught to pick and strung by the American rail workers and the hobos. As a water boy, he would have been exposed to the work chants of the African American railroad workers, known as Gandhi dancers. 
1924, at the age of 27, Jimmy contracted tuberculosis and that pretty much ended his career on a railroad. He started performing again and was eventually put on a radio in Asheville, North Carolina. He started recording in 1927 and quickly gained fame. Jimmy died at the tender age of 35 from the complications of tuberculosis. He was the first inductee into the Country Music Hall of Fame, and he's also in the Songwriters Hall of Fame, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and the Blues Hall of Fame. This is Waiting for a Train by Jimmy Rogers. He recorded indeed 111, 113 songs, though, and all of them are still around. Uh, the, the real old time kind of singer still sing Jimmy Rogers song. Real country. <laughs> real country. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 